Thanks for tuning in to another Hobby Porter video. Today we are looking at the ISDT C4 Smart Charger. Uh, now this is a smart charger for round cell type of batteries like nickel metal hydride, lithium ion, um, NICADs, LIFEPO, uh, etc. So uh, let's go ahead and open up the box and show you what's inside. Okay, so we've got the box opened up here. First thing you'll see is uh, some stickers. There's an instruction manual. This covers basically everything you'll need to know, um, the options and, and how to set up charging cycles for different types of batteries. Uh, then we have the charger itself. Pop that out. And we have a power supply, which is a standard uh, wallboard type power supply. I believe this is 12 volt at 12 volt at uh, 2.5 amps. Okay, and uh, this will be available uh, with plug types for different countries. And lastly, we have a screen protector. You get one of these included. These used to be an optional accessory uh, with ISDT products, but uh, you get one in the box with this charger. Okay, so that's what's in the box. Let's uh, go over the charger itself, the features, and how to use it for charging batteries. Okay, so we've got the charger out, plugged in and powered up. I'll show you the nice bright display there. Uh, we'll go through some of the options very quickly. To get into the settings, you just hold down the touch sensor in the middle. This is a all touch sensitive, there's no actual buttons. Um, system information that just tells you your hardware, software version, etc. Get back out of that. Um, factory settings is a, is a factory default reset. Uh, you've got different language options. So we'll leave that at English. Uh, volume for the, the beeper, uh, backlight. I've got that set to high right now just so you can see the screen better. Uh, but that is set at mid as a default uh, comes with a, a low mid and high uh, capacity limit you can set that to stop you overcharging uh, auto charge now when you drop a battery in here it will start auto charging you can set a delay uh, or you can set that off uh, we'll leave that at five seconds this gives you a bit more time uh, cycle display and that's it so let's go ahead and pop some batteries in and I'll show you how this thing starts charging. Okay, let's start with the AA batteries first. Now it will take four AA batteries. So you pop them in, and you can hear it counting down, and it's going to auto start, and then auto start charging at the settings it's detected. So we'll pop another battery in. Now if we want to do something different with this battery, uh, you can just touch one of the buttons, and it'll stop that automatic countdown and then you can go and, and change what you want to do with the battery. So we could set this one to discharge, storage, cycle, activation, analysis, etc. Um, activation is for some old batteries that maybe are a bit sick and you want to try and bring them back to life. Analysis will test the battery and give you some basic information. Um, that's really good for, for probably people who use uh, lithium ion, perhaps vape uh, vape people that use uh, say a, a t dual battery mod uh, if you want to check your batteries to see how well they match as far as internal resistance and things like that uh, so we'll have a look at the, the charger itself see what's going on on the screen here you've got the milliamp hours that have gone in uh, you've got the current voltage of the battery the time and it'll also show you the milliohms resistance and the temperature of the battery. Okay, so next we'll just pop those out. Uh, we'll try some AAA batteries. Now this can take two AAAs at once. They go in these slots in the center here. Just let that auto start. counting down and there you go you can see the charger started up and it's away and running uh, 
now for lithium ion batteries. They actually go in lengthwise. I'll pop those in. Now these are already charged, so what I might do is show you the discharge. Uh, so we'll go up to the, the options, the charging options there. And we'll select charge and we'll change that to discharge. And then we just go down and start. And away it goes. Now this does have built-in um, polarity protection. So if we did take one of these batteries, popped it in the wrong way, we get a, a warning. Battery reverse. Uh, so we can just pop that out, put it back in the right way. And everything's hunky-dory. So we'll go and put this one to storage. Now storage is... Uh, storage will bring the battery to about a half charge state. This is if you want to store the battery for any length of time. And then we'll start that. Okay, so you can run different programs on the batteries at the same time. Uh, you can see we've got one discharging and one in storage. Uh, so very easy, very simple to use. Uh, once the batteries are finished, you can just pop them straight out. Uh, it will also charge uh, LIFE batteries. So we'll pop one of these in to show you. With these batteries, I do suggest uh, going into the options. Show you this a bit better. For the battery type and change that from uh, auto to LIFPO4. Um, because these batteries are quite similar to lithium ion it's it's harder for the charger to auto identify them i guess so i did find with lif po4 batteries that it was better if you actually selected the type before the charge uh, other types of batteries i found auto charge no problem so there we go okay uh, one other thing that's worth mentioning on this charger it does have a usb output uh, you can see that there, so that can power USB devices. Uh, that will work also at the same time as charging batteries. The charger itself will just automatically uh, route power where it's needed. So yeah, great little device, great little charger. Um, definitely gives you a lot more information and, and a lot more control uh, with your charging than some of your standard uh, budget round cell type chargers. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, give us a like if you enjoyed this video. It helps us out. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to know more from people.